Her trip has come to an end and she is returning to Toronto. We wrap up Danica Rain's journey to Thailand for gender confirmation surgery now and look at the life and stigma the Toronto transgender woman comes home to. Oh. But yeah, the pain can be uh, pretty excruciating at times. Yeah, you're really feeling it, aren't you? Yeah, I am. <sighs> Morphine is Danica's relief. Two days after her gender confirmation surgery, she feels the brunt of crushing pain when it wears off. It's a good pain. Is it? Is it, is it still worth it, even it, with this pain? Oh, definitely. I could go through this pain for I don't know how long. Pain is totally worth it. Oh. Danica knows all too well about another kind of pain. She belongs to arguably the most stigmatized group in the world and is used to being shunned by an unforgiving society. Openly mocked, sometimes beaten. She's heard the words directed her way. A tranny or being called a she-male. Do those words hurt? They do hurt. They hurt a lot. We're humans. You know what I mean? We're not freaks. We're not weirdos. There's nothing wrong with us. I'm told transgender people are far more accepted here in Bangkok than other parts of the world, including Toronto. It's far less of a stigma here. When Danica leaves the warm cocoon of acceptance she has found, she knows she's going back to the harsh reality that life is still going to be a challenge. Just before I left, um, just give me a second. <sighs> so just before I left, one of my trans friends wanted to take me out to dinner. Downtown Toronto on Young Street. As we walk in, there's two gentlemen sitting there having lunch. And the first thing that the one man has to say is, can you believe this? Look at these two. Absolutely disgusting is what he said. And then his friend looked at him and said, I totally agree. The vast majority of comments on our Facebook page have been similarly harsh. Even if it weren't covered and trans people paid out of pocket, these people would still be complaining, my God, they never stop. Lock her up in Cam H. He will always be a he, no matter what. Stop wasting my tax money on stupidity. It's still a man. That's just one hurdle transgender people face. Another is lack of employment. Danica has been trying to find a job in Toronto for the last five years. I applied at a lot of the major hotels mm -hmm. um, just to be a room cleaner, and I couldn't even get a job cleaning rooms. Fast forward three weeks from that interview. At this very moment, Danica is in the air flying back to Toronto. We Skyped with her just before she left for the airport. How are you? Hello, I'm doing amazing, Cynthia. Um, extremely excited to be on my way home. And those negative comments on Facebook, Danica has read them too. The way I see it is um, I'm not letting any of the negative feedback get to me because I believe I deserve this and I did not choose to be transgender. I was born this way. Do you feel different? Yes, I do feel different. I feel normal. Normal. That is what Danica wants the most, a normal life. When she returns, she hopes to get married and become an advocate for other transgender people. She bared her deepest vulnerabilities for this series, hoping to educate and raise awareness. We're just humans like everyone else. We just want to live our lives like everyone else. Um, we're not here to hurt anyone. We're not here to change anyone's opinion or anything like that. We just, as I said, we just want to have normal lives like everyone else. Danica may very well be leading the way for other transgender people to go to Thailand. Now, I talked to the provincial government this week. They tell me no other person has been approved to go to there for this surgery, although the Kamal Clinic in Bangkok, where she was, tells me that since these stories have been airing, they've been receiving more questions from Canadians inquiring about going there. Which is what you really kind of want out of this story, right, and Danica's story, and hope that it brings that awareness. Now, she didn't seem surprised by the negative reaction, but I think you were a little bit at uh, what we saw were you uh, yes and no yeah. I mean I was expecting some I wasn't expecting it to be 
as overwhelmingly negative and but you have to wonder is it is it the majority of people really or is it just the yeah. people that are negative are, are, are telling us what their thoughts are I, but I still find that you know we have such a long ways yeah. to go before there's acceptance and and you know perhaps our, our job here in a newsroom is to challenge people to make them think to raise awareness and talk about things that maybe they're not always comfortable talking about so Absolutely. there we go and and let's see if it makes a difference or not yeah and you've been through this journey with Danica and mm -hmm. it must be a big moment for you as well and what is your final kind of thought on this whole story well I just have so much respect for her opening up leaving herself so exposed yeah. so raw about something so incredibly personal so brave. not very many people have the courage to do that especially on tv